Tonight is the most special night in African football history. Watch this. Let's go. Amazing. When it's not a red carpet, it's a gold carpet. We have made it to the CAF Awards. This is going to be special. Give me my grip. How are you doing? Amazing. It's great to be here today. Dima Maghreb always. Thank you very much. It's going to be a great night. Thank you. Let's go. We've got the bracelets to come in. This is going to be a crazy night. Remember, three different possible outcomes. Mo Salah, Hakimi or the man himself, Victor Osimhen. Only one can be crowned Africa champion. That is how you enter the building. Incredible. Tell the camera who's going to win tonight. Osimhen, bro. Osimhen. Really? Yeah. Hakimi, bro. Come on, bro. Osimhen. Hakimi deserves to win. The rumor is Osimhen's going to win. Yeah. But is Messi here? That's the real question. Is Messi here? Nah, bro. Where is Messi? I spoke to someone earlier and they found out whether the Argentinian is really here. You're, you're basically the French version of me. You work with PSG, Yeah, right? I did, I do. You met Messi? I met him, of course. I call him? You call him now, yeah? Wait. Hola, Leo, ¿qué tal? ¿Tú estás en Morocco actualmente? He's here? Morocco, yes. <laughs> Victor Osman has entered the building. This is incredible. Who got the loudest cheer of the day? We will soon find out. The CAF Awards has had big entry and I love the suit as well the green suit who's winning today Victor of course Victor yeah Victor wins we will see Victor we will wins. see could he be champion tonight lots of people believe he will be thank you shukran this is the theatre theatre of dreams and we are in the lower tier this is where the magic happens today we're bringing you all access areas here smash the like if you're enjoying it because I certainly am there will be names associated to every single seat anything can happen tonight Excuse me, Emmanuel. Who do you think is going to win today? Adebayo. You're going to win? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm joking. I think it's going to be Osimhen, to be honest. You look at the bigger picture, all what he has done with Napoli is just crazy. So for me, I'm giving the benefits of doubt. I think he will win. Today. Hakimi or Osimhen to win? Hakimi. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Thank you, bro. Entered the building. There's big rumors that he's going to win today. There's only one way to find out. It feels incredible to be here. The show that they put on, the presentation, spectacular. El Hachtouf. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our host. Here he is. I've got to meet him today. It begins. In Lons, the day I was there, the first match after the earthquake, the tragic earthquake in Morocco. Emotional scenes with all the Moroccan fans. The president of Morocco has entered. Legend of the game. Now it's time to decide which men's club has done the best in the last 365 days, Sundowns, Widad or Al Ali. This is Egypt, Morocco or a South African club, a big deal. Hopefully Widad, amazingly run. Legend of the game. That's crazy. They've got a boxing champion. The Egyptian side, Al Ali, champions again. Percy Tau, Al Ali are cleaning up. Big award coming up. Young Player of the Year. We begin with Yaboa, Ghanaian talent. Let's hope for another Moroccan winner. Inshallah. Come on. Yes, another Moroccan. Come on. A fighter. Incredible. Absolutely beautiful story. She's turned up injured and she's a champion. Okay, now it's getting serious. Young player of the year for men. We've got Ezel Zuli. We've met him at the last Morocco match we went to. What a player. Next up, we've got Senegalese talent, Kamara. And finally, Amara Jouf. Ezel Zuli, inshallah. Congratulations, Lamine Kamara. He's really fought and deserved that. Ezel Zuli, so close. Next year. This is very impressive. Very impressive. Ghetto Kids, incredible show. National Team of the Year for women. This will be a huge moment for Morocco, but they're up against Nigeria, South Africa. This is going to be the big debate. Nigeria. Congratulations. It's a massive result for them. Massive. Time for the men's award. 
Gambia, Morocco or Senegal to win it. This is going to be big. Come on. If Morocco don't win this, I'm walking out now. I will leave the theatre if Morocco don't win this. Yes! Diva Maghreb, national team of the year in Africa. Just look at it. It deserves. CAF Awards champions. We're in Marrakesh. The town and the country is alive. See it. The Moroccan president goes over every single Moroccan watching this video right now. Smash the like. One big community, one big family I've felt in the last year since I started recording about the, this country. It's been such a journey and I feel now is the time to celebrate. So well done to every fan, everyone who lives here, everybody who watches the channel. Big up. It's a massive win. Massive vote up next. Onana, currently at Manchester United. And then we've got El Shanawi and Yassin Bono, goalkeeper of the year in the CAF Awards. Way, let's go. Yalla, yalla, yalla. Come on, give it Bono, give it Bono. Bono, Bono. Yes! Yassin, my friend, the winner. I'm so happy for my friend. I've seen him so many times. A year ago, I didn't even know Yassin, and now he deserves to be the champion. I'm very, very proud of him. Congratulations, Yassin Bono. Morocco is so talented. Amazing singer. What a voice. This is all about Walid Regragui. Come on. Coach of the year, if it's not Walid, the way he turned around Morocco to one of the best nations in the world. I don't understand. If he doesn't win, I don't understand. Let's see, let's see. Uh, the main coach of the year goes to Wadi. Yes. Well deserved. He brought Morocco to the top four at the Coupe du Monde. He started at Widad, Casablanca. What a rise as a gaffer, as we say in England. And now he picks up the golden ball. The best in Africa. Well deserved down to this. Asisat Oshola, FC Barcelona number nine. Come on. She's from the beautiful, beautiful country. I can't see anyone. Asisat Oshola. Yes. Champion again. Unbelievably deserved. The moment of truth, guys. The player of the year. Liverpool's Mo Salah. Has he won enough this year to call himself number one in Africa? That's the question. That's the real question. For me, he's not in the top two. Next up is Ashraf Hakimi. He deserves the trophy. Incredible work for PSG and at the World Cup. I genuinely believe if they give it Hakimi today, he deserves it. And finally, the favorite, the Nigerian, Victor Osimhen, who broke onto the scene for Napoli, made his name for himself, scored so many goals in the Champions League at the end of last year, the start of this year. Maybe today he's number one. And if he does, I clap it. I met him in the hotel earlier. He's very confident. Is also from the beautiful country, Victor Osimhen. Congratulations, Victor Osimhen. A Nigerian is number one in the whole continent of Africa. Thank you so much. I also thank uh, Emmanuel Adebayo for his uh, encouragement. There he is. Emmanuel Adebayo. We interviewed him before. He said before this that Victor Osman was going to win. Victor Osman, Asisat Oshoda, well deserved, number one in Africa. This okay. is incredible. Finally, I get a chance to meet you. What a legend. Unfortunately, Bono and Hakimi did not make the event, but we got to meet Asisa Oshola, the women's calf winner, Osimen, and even the legend herself, Nadozi Chiamaka, who won the Golden Glove. But you know what's crazy? A year ago, I didn't even have any association with this country. Now, I honestly feel like it's my home every time I come, from the community, to the fans, to even the players that I've been so lucky to meet. Thank you to Marrakesh, and of course, Morocco. Thank you to Visit Morocco for sending me good night.